Hey, this is Seed Knee Channel. I'm Chris, and this is MMA for You. Uh, I'm going to be doing my predictions for Bellator 47. That's going to happen this uh, Saturday, July 23rd, on MTV2. So let's get right to it. I'll g uh, get with the uh, start with the prelims and go to the main card. Okay, first fight of the night we have Sid Barnier versus Dennis Purick. I have Dennis Purick winning this one. Next fight after that we have Darren Cruikshank versus Sergey Juskovic. I got Sergey uh, Juskovic winning this one. He actually has um, four submission victories uh, coming into this fight. Um, his last submission victory is over getting Ray by heel hook. Um, and the next fight after that we have Bo Harris who sports a zero wins and three loss record versus Gr Ryan Goldsby. Uh, I got Ryan Goldsby winning this one. And uh, uh, next fight on the prelims, we have two fighters coming off of three losses as Will Romero is going to fight Daniel Langbean. I got Will Romero winning that one. Okay, so uh, let's get on to the main card. Okay, we got uh, Chris Hordecki, who's an IFL and WEC veteran, going to fight uh, the SoCal kid, uh, Chris Saunders. Um, you know, I, I'm tempted to go with Hordecki. Hordeski just because he, you know, he, he's a little more well known. He trains with Tompkins. The thing is, he's kind of, there's not much difference with the kid. You know, he's just, he has the same one two kick combo. Um, and just, there, there really hasn't been much evolution with him. Uh, obviously, he, he's had some embarrassing fights as well as when he. Uh, ran away from Anthony and Jogawani and got head kicked to KO'd. You know, uh, Saunders looks pretty good. He's 9-1. and one. Um, I'm actually going to go with uh, Chris Saunders to win this one. I, I just, you know, I'm not saying Hordusky's bad. It's just that I, I just haven't seen enough improvement from him. I'm, I'm, I've been, I just haven't been very impressed by him. Um, throughout his like MMA career, he went through a good run in the IFL, and even then, I mean, he lost in the IFL by someone putting his hand behind his back and getting punched in the face. I mean, it's it just, you know, he, he's not always gonna look great either. Um, I know he was he was stuck in a triangle against Donald Cerrone forever. I mean, he got. It was just, yeah, I just, I just, I'm not impressed with Tordeski. I'm going with Chris Saunders to win this one. Okay, next fight of the night, we have two heavyweights, as Neil Grove is going to fight Zach Jensen. Uh, you know, Grove kind of went through a little resurgence, um, in, in a, in a sense. Um, he beat guys like Eddie Sanchez and, um, uh, is it Oleskinev or something like that? And, the uh, Bellator heavyweight tournament. He's got some heavy hands. Um, I'll never forget his one fight in DFC though, where he got uh, knee barred and his his he had to like limp out of the ring. But otherwise, I got Neil the Goliath uh, winning this one. Okay, next fight of the night is the Bellator featherweight tourney uh, semifinal as Ronnie Mann is gonna fight Pat Kieran. I'm gonna be honest, this fight I wanted to see this fight in the finals. Uh, this is. God, you know, I go uh, even now. I'm going back and forth. Like I'm thinking, okay, Pat Curran comes off a little more well-rounded, but well, Ronnie Man just a little more crisp in the stand-up. He's also fought some really good guys too. Experience. I mean, these guys have, you know, Man's fought guys like Hatsuyoki and other guys in Japan. Pat Curran, you know, he went, he fought Eddie Alvarez, and you know, it. Ah, oh, it's so tough. Like, you know. I, I honestly, I, I'll, I'll say a name now, and probably like five minutes later, I'll think, oh man, you know, Pat Curran, you know, proving necktie on Luis Palomino, or Ronnie Man just got, you know, KO victory in his last fight, you know, just looking awesome. Ah, uh, it, it's hard. Um, geez, this can go either way. One thing, one thing that I'll uh, that I do think about is Pat Curran has shown in some fights that he does back up a lot, and with Ronnie Man being like um, as crisp a striker as he is, I, I can see him possibly pushing the pace a little more. But even then, like that's not like always gonna happen, you know. Um, it's not like Pat Curran has like crappy striking or anything. <laughs> 
you know, he, he's he, he's decent, you know. Um, I think some of the things that work against Curran, especially is like the Toby Amada fight, where like Toby Amada probably should have won, but then kept that Curran ended up winning, and. You know, it's just stuff like that. That you know, I'm gonna, I'm leaning a little towards Ronnie Man right now, uh, but that's not to say Pat Curran can't take this either. I mean, this is, you know, this is like 50-50 to me. I, I'm picking Ronnie Man right now. Tomorrow, I might think, you know what, man, Pat Curran, you know, he's really good, well, really well-rounded. But right now, I'm going with Ronnie Man. Okay. And the final fight of the night, we have uh, Nazarena Maligari versus Marlo Sandro, uh, which is also part of the featherweight uh, tournament semifinal. Um, I get Marlon Sandro winning this one. The thing with Maligari, his strength is definitely in his jiu-jitsu, but Marlon Sandro is no slouch on the ground either. I believe he trains with, in, I believe he's a no, Novo Unio guy, um, just like, like Jose Aldo is. I mean, these guys, uh, you know, are, are superior have superior jiu-jitsu as well um and i think uh sandro de, um is gonna have the advantage on the feet here as well especially with um just with striking and with um proven power so i have marlon sandro winning this one but uh maligari i mean he's a really good fighter uh, by no means do i think it'll be some sort of blowout or anything um maligari he, he looked really good in his last fight as well uh, he had a really great fight against like Daniel Strauss. Uh, so Maligari, I mean, you know, any four of these guys can win it. I mean, they're, they're all that good, really. But uh, I do have Marlon Sandro uh, winning this one. So for me, if my predictions come to fruition, it's uh, you know Marlon Sandro versus Ronnie Mann for the final, which would be pretty cool. Any of these guys in the final, though, any pairing is actually really good. I. I and I won't be, you know, sad about any of these guys winning. Um, all four of these guys are very strong featherweights. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, that's it uh, for uh, MMA for you. Um, if you have any comments, just leave them below. And, yeah, that's it. Thanks a lot.